Hey Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Cancer. So if you're a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a still in Cancer, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel. I like this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is true. Don't stand, get reversed. So take how it resonates. Nine of Cups, Two of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck here. This is someone who, uh, they're hesitating to approach you. There's some sort of anxiety here with, in this person here that they are finding it difficult for, uh, to approach you here. They could be in some sort of like, uh, in mental agony. With the two of swords in reverse, it's very possible this person has been trying to decide on what they should be doing here for a while. You know, they've been stressing out about what is the right thing to do, what they should be doing. And finally, this person is in that energy of... Maybe they should apologize. This could be someone four of wands in reverse, hierophant in reverse. Uh, Could be dealing with the Taurus. Some of you, this person could be, could have been married to another person. This could have been a third party situation for some of you here. And that's the reason why this person is thinking twice before approaching you. That's the reason this person is so anxious. It's very possible uh, things with this third party is not completely over is what I'm getting. This third party energy is still here, especially um, if this person was married to someone else, you know, the, that third party energy is still lingering. This person is not completely over that or they have not managed to completely detach from that. That's the reason why this person is thinking twice before approaching you. Ten of Wands, yes. Someone is extremely overwhelmed here. Extremely stressed as well. Yeah, for some of you, this person, they might have responsibilities somewhere else. They still have some lingering responsibilities. That's the reason why this person is so scared or afraid to approach you. They are thinking twice before approaching you. There's a lot of anxiety with this person. Yeah, they could, this person could be someone who's trying to move to calmer waters in their own life. They have experienced some sort of heartbreak. They have experienced some sort of separation here. It could be a divorce. And now this person is trying to move to calmer waters here. Now they're trying to heal themselves. So they are in an, uh, it's like not a very happy place this person is in. They have a lot going on. And they're trying to sort these things out here. This person could be clear, clearing out some karma as well with the Ten of Wands. Four of Swords here. Yeah, there's silence between the both of you for some of you here. Uh, you know, like things are not exactly like more than silence. This feels like things are not really. Uh, you both are not on good terms with each other here. Knight of Swords in reverse. 
for some of you this could have become missed opportunity here you could have had uh, arguments fights between the both of you with the moon and the knight of swords in reverse this could be someone who has anxious attachment style or simply this person has is someone who suffers from a lot of anxiety that's the kind of person there is that's the reason why this person could have just unnecessarily created some sort of chaotic energy they might have mistrusted you and said certain things they shouldn't have said with the knight of swords in reverse because the knight of swords in reverse can be someone who's very rude or someone who's very harsh with their tongue and the reason this person is like that is because they have subconscious fears or they have uh, anxiety and they have internal issues that they are actually projecting on the other person that's it that's the reason why this person behaves rude or that's the reason this person is they said whatever they said And this person, whatever they said, they do reflect upon it. It's not like this person does, does not regret that or they do not reflect upon whatever they have said to you. They do. They do think about it a lot. They do regret saying all of that a lot. And that's the reason why this person knows that you deserve an apology. They should apologize to you. They should make things right with you. Because whatever they said or however they treated you, that was horrible. They shouldn't have said those things to you. They shouldn't have behaved that way. And this person does realize or recognize that the way they behave like that is because they have their own issues. They have their own traumas, fears, woundings. They, especially if this person was with another person, they were married to someone else. Things were not right with the other person here. And they just, all of the trauma, all of the baggage, they just projected on you. So they are very well aware. Uh, they do feel the guilt of whatever they have said and done here. And they do understand what, why they said or did that. You know, this person could, for some of you, this person could have sabotaged this connection intentionally because they had fear that um, I already saw a relationship, especially if you're dealing with someone who, is, who has third party, who was in a third party group. They were married to someone else. They were in a relationship with someone else. And this person simply thought they sabotaged this connection because they thought that I've already been in a relationship that did not work out for me. Things fell apart. So how do I know this is going to work out? So, you know, it's like the subconscious just messed things up. It's almost like this person's subconscious just took over their conscious and just messed things up here. Is this strange energy with this person? Like, they were not really in control of whatever they were saying or doing. It's like their fears that were controlling them. The traumas, that woundings that were controlling them. This person was, it's almost like some, this person was not in the driver's seat. Their fears, traumas, woundings was in the driver's seat here. And that was uh, letting, that was what was driving this person here to do and say whatever they did and said. look at that five pentacles oh there are two cards here oh <laughs> as i was just saying traumas and subconscious fear and woundings we have the five of pentacles and the moon again this is the second time we are seeing the moon i think we saw the knight of swords in reverse in the moon didn't we yeah i think that's it and now you're seeing the five of pentacles in the moon this person has some deep-seated abandonment issues and they really suffer from anxiety and delusion this is very possibly someone who fears that they are going to be abandoned again. That's the reason why they sabotage this connection. The moment this person caught, catches feelings, so the moment this things get serious, it's very possible this person just uh, sabotages this connection because they have abandonment issues. Mm, because they have, I'm not good enough kind of an energy for some of you as well here. This could be someone who doesn't feel like they're good enough for you as well. Because they keep seeing the Queen of Wands at the bottom. Sorry. <laughs> Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I saw this a couple of times. That's the reason why this person could have just abandoned this connection here. Yeah, but some, for some of you, because we do have the four of swords, this is someone you are not in communication with. Or 
that he's not in good terms with. I constantly keep getting not in good terms with. But yeah, this person is this constant fear that they are going to be abandoned. That's why they just... It's very possible for some of you, this person, if this person, there was no third party here, the reason this person abandoned this connection because it's a simple thing of, I will abandon you, I will leave you before you can leave me. So I will sabotage this and I will ruin things here and I'll leave you before you can leave me. And this person still, those fears are still active with this person since we do have the five of pentacles and the moon here. This, the fears, the trauma is very active in this person here. They know they need to apologize to you. It's very heavy on this person, in fact, ten of wands and the moon. The illusions, their fear, the delusional energy. It's like still some sort of um, that fear, that trauma, that wounding is still in the driver's seat here. It's still... Um, driving this person i don't think this person is healed at all it's a very wounded person who's still carrying their wounds and for some of you it's very possible this person doesn't even know how to like how to begin with that healing process or what they should be doing they know they have wounds but what should i do with them How are they supposed to address those wounds? How are they supposed to do something about it? You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. You could be dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ten of Swords in Reverse. What is this? Okay, Ten of Swords in Reverse. Can you see that? Yes. Ace of Pentacles. This person is seeking redemption here. As I just said, seeking redemption. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Judgment, the Two of Cups, the Chariot, the Three of Cups, and the Hermit here as well. Could be dealing with a Virgo or, yeah, definitely another Cancer or a Water Sign here. Yeah, this person is seeking redemption here. They know what they have done and this is someone who's seeking redemption. They want your forgiveness. They want to start things fresh. Ace of Pentacles to the Judgment. This is literally someone who wants another chance here. But this is the problem. The, the wound is still there. The trauma is still there with this person. This person has not addressed the subconscious fears. For some of you, it's very possible this person really, really wants that another chance with you. But they have not really learned their lessons. So if you give this person another chance, if things uh you try to rebuild with this person they will sabotage this connection again they will repeat the past patterns again that's the energy i'm getting with this person i'm not saying this is someone who doesn't have feelings for you two of cups three of cups nine of cups they do have feelings but the trauma they're wounding their fear their however that trauma fear wounding originated that is still there and this person has not addressed it it's almost like someone who hasn't learned their lesson So as much as they would like to take control and take charge of things and try to make things work out, try to have a reunion, try to have a second chance with you, try to balance things out because they have feelings for you. They want partnership. This is someone who wants partnership or relationship, equal give and take. They want that. They want to be romantically involved with you. But that's not enough because they're not addressing the elephant in the room here. They are not addressing the devil here. Although we don't have the devil card, but that devil energy is very prominent and dominant in this reading here. They're not addressing that. And until and unless they don't address it, things are just going to be the same. Even if you give this person another chance, even if you both try to rebuild, things are going to be just the same here. 
The past needs to be healed in order to have a better future, a different future, a different outcome. The outcome is not going to be different if this person is not addressing the, those issues here. And I don't even think, again, that energy of, I don't even think this person knows how to address that. Is it a lost person for some of you? They do want to improve. They do want to, they are look, is looking for redemption and they are ask, asking forgiveness, but it's more than that. And I, I, I'm not getting that energy of this person understands it. I think, yeah, Ace of Pentacles was first in judgment. Two and three of cups, Ace of Cups in the mix. We already have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups in the mix and the Two of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So there's feelings here. But if only this person addressed this moon and the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands as well. This lesson this person needs to learn somewhere it's like they are stuck and not being able to learn that lesson. They are stuck. Well, look at that. They see you as their soulmate. Could be dealing with the Gemini strength. This is the, on the strength card, this is the um empress wow i must forgot that for a minute could be dealing with a leo or a gemini but okay they see you as someone who um uh, they, they definitely see you as their soulmate they have a lot of attraction for you this person deep down somewhere believes that you two are meant for each other made for each other that sort of a thing here and if, if things do work out between the both of you, it's going to be great or beautiful. Because they see you as someone who is, they see, they ha, uh, hold you in high regards with the strength here. They hold you in high regards. But for some of you, this person could be, they, they do see you as some sort of inspiration as well with the strength card here. For some of you, this is what I'm getting. This person could be looking towards you to find direction in their own life like they look towards you to find direction in their own life they're lost in their own life they have issues definitely and they look towards you to help them come out of um this 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 energy here now there's nothing wrong with helping someone out giving someone guidance or showing helping someone out there's nothing wrong with it and there's nothing wrong with staying by their side as well but you can't do their healing. That they have to do themselves. So you can't take upon this person's trauma, this person's woundings, this person's anxiety, fear and burden on you, upon you. You cannot do that. As much as you feel a very strong connection with this person. Because we did see the two of cups, ace of cups, knight of cups and then we have the lovers here as well. So they do feel a strong connection and you both feel it. It's like, because the two of cups is not one-sided, it's mutual, right? So you both feel it, but whatever this is, they have to address it themselves. They have to heal it themselves. You can be by their side. You can be a good support system for them, but you have to make sure at the same time, you do have strong boundaries that you're not just absorbing all of their problems and issues and traumas. And they are not taking it. This is what I'm getting. They are not, what is the phrase? Taking it, taking it on you, taking it upon you. I think it's taking it upon you. Uh, I start channeling and then I forget, forget how to talk. But yeah, I think it's taking, taking it out on you. Yeah, I think that's, <laughs> I think it's taking out on you. I'm sorry, I, I really can't remember. Yeah, just make sure that you're not, this person is not taking out their frustration, their anger on you. 
you shouldn't be they shouldn't be treating you like that no matter how much of a deep connection this is because this is a deep connection here and this is like yeah we love each other but it's complicated that kind of a thing here yeah there's a strong connection but there are things that needs to be addressed there's too many issues here that is just uh, influencing this connection and not letting it move forward Don't take upon yourself this person's trauma and woundings and don't let this person take it out on you as well. This is That's the message I got. You do want a new beginning with this person. You do have a desire to start over with this person here. Okay, let's nine of pentacles. For some of you, you do want to start over with this person, but at the same time, you could be like, um, you could have realized some things here. Realize that. Maybe it's not time me yet or maybe this person is someone who doesn't learn from their problems, who, who doesn't learn their lessons here. So as much as you want a new beginning with this person, you're trying to focus on your money. You're trying to be single, independent, take care of yourself. You're trying to take care of yourself here with, uh, for some of you with that nine of pentacles. Be self-sufficient, not be, you're, you're trying, for some of you, you're trying to not be in a codependent connection. You're trying to you're trying to be single until you find the right kind of person or until you find a kind of relationship where it's not just codependency and trauma and chaos and blame games and whatnot. Oh. Okay, this is what I got randomly. Remember how I was struggling with don't let this, you know, like don't allow this person to let it out on you. Something I was struggling with that phrase and now I'm getting the phrase, don't allow this person to make you their punching bag. This could be a very specific message. That's how I got. Don't be their punching bag. That's the exact words I got. So that might resonate with some of you here. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, just for some of you, this is the advice here actually with the nine of pentacles. That's the energy I'm getting. Be, be independent financially, emotionally, be independent. And you know, it's better to be single than to be in a relationship or in a connection with someone who is who is not evolving, who is not changing, who is not uh, leveling up or upgrading themselves or more than upgrading themselves, learning from their mistakes. Learning the lesson here. Learning to change themselves. Don't be waiting around for someone like that or don't, don't give in to someone like that. You do deserve a kind of a partnership where it's healthy. It's not codependent. You are taken care of. Whether it's physically or emotionally. Spiritually, it's it's aligned. person could be into boxing i don't know why i got that but 
Jag ger det på rödmynt. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, that apology here. Can you see that? Yes. Page of Cups here, Temperance at the bottom of the deck, Empress, Eight of Swords. For some of you, this person really does want to apologize to you. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Taurus, Libra. They feel a lot of guilt here, the guilt of whatever they have done. This person does have feel the guilt and they want to apologize because they want to have a new start with you. They want to have a new beginning with you. And they want to balance things out between the both of you with the temperance here. This is what they truly want and desire. The balance being restored here. And they really want your energy with the Empress. This is you. So they do, do want your energy. And the Nine of Pentacles is the pre-Empress energy. So you are the Divine Feminine. But that's the thing here. The Divine Feminine, the Empress can be too nurturing. She can, she can nurture everyone and anyone. Even people who she needs to draw boundaries with. This, I'm getting that constant energy of you need to draw boundaries with this person and you need to keep standing your ground and hold those boundaries. Yeah, again, that see, you are you have that healing touch here. You do have that healing touch. So this person, that's the reason why this person is. They look towards you to. To find direction in their own life. To it's like you're sort of their guiding light, or you have a. You're the light in their life, sort of a way. But again, that. very difficult to put the point here without trying to sound like I'm judging or I'm lecturing here Anyways, just have strong boundaries here with this person don't let this person walk all over you or don't be the be their punching bag This person needs to heal, they need to address their issues and that's on them. You can help them out, you can show them the light, you can be there for them from a distance. But don't get too invested and carried away in this connection. And don't carry it away to the point that you are just forgetting your work, forgetting your own journey, forgetting you need to heal yourself as well. It's not your job to heal anyone and everyone. You need to heal yourself as well. I don't know why I'm getting with that eight of swords. You could have, for some of you, you could have felt very, very powerless when you were in a connection with this person. You felt very powerless. You wanted to, like, you feel very powerless or you felt very powerless. You want to help this person, but you don't know how to help this person from a distance. But yeah, for some of you, the Page of Cups, they do want to balance the situation and have a new beginning with you. Also with the Empress, if you don't want to get pregnant, be careful about that. Okay. Soon. Something is happening sooner than you expect. So this apology or offer might come soon. Some of you, you're waiting for some sort of manifestation to happen here. This doesn't even have to be regarding this person. You're waiting for some sort of manifestation to come to fruition, especially if it's 
related to your career um job or something like that it's going to happen sooner than you think keep uh, trying to manifest keep trying to focus your energy on that letting an old cycle end so a new cycle can begin what i'm getting with that card is surrender this connection to divine that's what i got with that um, card here i need to meet somewhere in the middle compromise okay let's get one more card on this side. Second chance, trying again or giving this connection another chance. And look at that bottom of the deck is trust, trust yourself and your intuition about this connection. So that is that. Yeah, see someone feels remorse for how they behave. This person does have a lot of regret. They do regret how they behaved or talked to you. Yeah, this connection could have been one hell of a roller coaster ride. There's bad here, but there's good here as well. And that's just that's the reason why it's, it's a complicated connection here. Okay, we have the ghost here, leaving behind, disappearing, cold, no contact. So yeah, I did mention with the Four of Swords, you both are not on good terms or talking to each other right now. Okay, I already saw that. Look at that, I tried to pull, I, I uh, picked up the entire deck, but this card was there on the table. This is bottled up. Illusions. Yeah, see, illusions is what I said. Keeping things inside, not opening up. Deception. And this imagery itself is very someone who's really, really hurt and not in a good place. at that gossip petty conversations yeah something this person could have really said to you making you the fool this person really could have just blamed you or it's simply like this person i don't know they said said something to you that's what i'm getting this person said something to you that was really very hurtful and they shouldn't have done that you expected better from this person or you didn't expect this person would fall that low sort of a thing thing here. Take that if it resonates. Not everything I say in this particular reading will resonate. Okay. Anchor. Hold it together. Getting a grip heaviness chained up. The energy in this reading itself is very heavy. Um, yeah, with the, that's the energy I'm getting from that Eight of Swords here. You felt very chained up here some way or the other with this personal connection. Look at that, I randomly cut the deck here and we have spirit, protected aura, divine intervention, guardian angel, shielding. You are protected. You are protected here. Or the universe is trying to protect you. A lot of times rejection is divine protection. Alright. Well, that's your reading, Cancer. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in the next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.